Hey, hey y'all, this is Casey Hope from Pizzazz Art Studio and today we are challenging ourselves to do another 10 minute painting. Now, this comes from inspiration from the song Firm Foundation by Cody Carnes. One of the lyrics says, faithful in every season. Y'all, that is something we need to remember about God. He is faithful, he is faithful, he is faithful in every season. So that's what we chose to do today. So I'm gonna dive into this and see if I can do it in 10 minutes or less. My supplies are gonna be Tombow uh, dual brush pens, some watercolor paper, and a pencil, and of course, paintbrush, water, all of that too. We're gonna see if I can do this in 10 minutes, 10 minutes or less. Y'all know I love to challenge myself to do that. If I can, you get a prize. So all you gotta do to be in the drawing is to be sure to leave a comment, like this video, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, nervous about doing this in 10 minutes, but here we go. Gonna draw these big flowers first. Just a lot of ovals, lots of ovals. Okay, then I'll come down for the smaller ones. Lots of ovals. Got another little oval over here. If it overlaps this, totally fine. In real life, that's what flowers do. They overlap each other. All right, and we'll do a little bit of our leaves. I am going quick, I know, because this is a challenge to myself. If I can do this in 10 minutes, I just, I really don't know. Okay, faithful in every season. Here we go. All right, so did you notice that I was picking my pencil up in between every stroke? Not every stroke, but a lot of the strokes. Okay, so right here. So I may end up having to, I'm gonna erase this F, make it a little shorter so that every doesn't have to be so little. E, B, E, R, Y, and so then on this F, then I'll adjust it. That's why I like doing a pencil first. All right, so, and then on season, I'm gonna kind of come back here in this area. Eh, don't love that S. It is A-OK, -okay, y'all, to erase, and it's A-OK. -okay. All right, so we've got that on. Now let's go ahead and get our uh, our markers on. Today I am using the Tombow dual brush pens. Now I'm using these on watercolor paper because I'm going to be using my pens to turn this into the watercolor look that you see at the bottom. Okay. Now you may have seen us do this before. We've used um, Tombows, we've used Crayola, any marker that's kind of a water soluble marker will work, but that's, what's important is the right marker and the right paper, okay? So I am on watercolor paper today. Now, I am just quickly tracing my lettering. I'm gonna come back in, thicken these down strokes. Now, I do not expect you, if you are just learning, to go as fast as I'm going. I'm just challenging myself to say, what can I get done in 10 minutes? And you might just give it a try. You may only get part of this done in 10 minutes, but that's more than you know what you would have done if you didn't even give it a try. It may be that you end up working for 20 minutes or 30 minutes on this, and that's okay too. I don't know if you've ever found that sometimes if you just give yourself a small amount of time to do something, if you're like, okay, I'm just gonna straighten up my room for five, 10 minutes. Well, then you get into a groove and you just want to do more. And that may be exactly what happens here as well. So just start out by just trying to do about 10 minutes. And then if you wanna go more, you can. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some marker on my, um, on my petals and I'm gonna come back and add water to them. Okay, so let me just kinda go quick. So I've got off right here, I've got a water cup and my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna add that water. Isn't that such a fun effect? So this way it's kind of a quick watercolor process. Cade, what time are we at? Five minutes. Five minutes left? 
Okay, all right, we're gonna have to hurry. But... Okay, gonna go to this purpley color next. Just giving it an outline. Then getting a little bit of this water on there. This is really fun for all ages. I um, I used to teach a ton. I used to teach over on the um, the Crayola page and would show kids how to use their Crayola markers to do this exact technique. But we see that it's not just for kids. It's for um, for all ages. Have fun with this. All right. I don't know which one of these pinks. I'm going to do both. And just give it an outline. Do y'all see that? I'm not trying to be too perfect here. It is quick, easy, fun. We like for art to be what we call peace and play. Like it's just playful. You're having fun with it. You're not stressed about, oh my gosh, mine doesn't look exactly like hers or mine, you know, this or that. We're not stressing about it. We want to find the joy of creating art. We want to find the, the benefits that come of what we, like I said, we call it peace and play. There are actual proven benefits of, um, of just creating and how that reduces stress and anxiety. And so just remember that, don't be getting more stressed out. Just have fun with what you got. And again, these are Tombow markers, Tombow dual brush tip markers, but Crayola markers would work too. It might not be the same color. Well, I should say Crayola washable markers. That's important. Where are we at, Kate? Okay. All right, gonna do a quick little outline here. This is a pretty color. It almost looks blue. It's number 291, but it's that pretty, uh, really pretty light green look. All right, I want this to dry a little bit, and since I have some time, I'm going to take one of my oranges on the opposite end. Remember, this is dual brush tip. So we've got the, the brush tip and then the, uh, and then the little bullet tip. You can do little bitty dots. Kind of looks like confetti or whatever. Where are we at on time, Cade? Three minutes and 25 seconds. Okay, we are doing good. Y'all, I was seriously nervous about this. I know I was kind of going super fast at the beginning. Uh, but it makes me happy to know that it's possible. Possible to create a full drawing, lettering, watercolor with marker in less than 10 minutes. Okay, now, if I would have my blow dryer with me, I would blow dry this, but I don't have it with me right now. But what I'm gonna do is with this purple, I'm gonna hope that this is dry enough and I'm going to give this just a little bit of an outline. And for this, I'm not going to add the water. So do y'all see how that just, it kind of like gave it some definition. This is really good if whenever you're adding the water, everything starts to look like a blob. You can uh, pull that in there and it looks really good. This is best if it's dry. I'm just under the challenge and don't have my blow dryer with me, so I'm having to uh, do what I got, but it's mostly dry. Where are we at, Kate? Two minutes and five seconds. Okay, okay, I'm pretty much done. The only thing that I would do, but I can't do it just yet, is maybe erase some of my pencil line, but I'm pretty much done. Uh, that little, that got a little drop of water. Let's see, whenever it's real good and dry, I can go back over it gonna leave it for now but I'm pretty happy is everything perfect nope but am I happy that I set 10 minutes aside to do a little bit of piece of play I sure am all right y'all we did it we did it in 10 minutes so let me know did you do it too we always like to know are you doing these at home and if you are we want to see them so leave a comment let us know if you've done it let us know if how you've seen God be faithful. That can be an encouragement. When you leave a comment on how you've seen God be faithful in your life, there's somebody out there that they're not knowing. They're not knowing, is God going to be faithful? And when they can hear your testimony, it builds them up. So I would love for you today to leave a comment letting us know if you've done this, but also if you've got a testimony of how God has been faithful in your life, we would love to see that too. Um, so leave a comment, like this video, be sure to subscribe, and one of y'all is going to get a little fun happy mail uh, that we're going to do a random draw and send you in the mail. All right, y'all. 
Se, se.